Traders buy and sell currencies in an effort to make a profit. But before entering a trade, it's important to understand one crucial concept of Forex trading lot size okay lot size is one of the key factors to consider when trading forex it can affect everything from the amount of risk you're taking on to the size of your potential profit so it's essential to consider lot size when entering any trade in the forex market and keep in mind that in forex you can use leverage so it's important to be aware of how much you are risking Hello everyone, I am Purity Godfrey and welcome to my channel. On today's episode of the beginner's course, okay, it's all about lot size. So let's dive in, alright? Lot size is the amount or quantity of trade that you bought or sold, okay? It's sometimes called your position size or trade size. The lot size in forex trading refers to the number of currency units that are traded in a single transaction okay it is usually expressed in terms of the base currency with the size of the lot being determined by the trader's account size and the market volatility for example a trader with an account size of ten thousand dollar might trade a lot size of ten thousand base currency units while a trader with an account size of hundred thousand dollar might trade a lot size of hundred thousand base currency units okay in currency market these currencies are not bought and sold singly they are bought and sold in packs called lot size that is what makes the gain appreciable so if not your profit in forex would have been 0 0.0001 or something like that but because you buy this currency in box and packs known as lot sizes that's why the gain is appreciable okay there are basically three types of lot sizes right we have the standard lot the mini lot the micro lot and let's also include the nano lot okay so let's say we can we can say that there are four types of lot sizes okay the standard lot contains hundred thousand units and is represented on mt4 by 1.0 okay the mini lot contains ten thousand units and is represented by 0 0.1 while the micro lot contains 1000 units and is represented by 0 0.01 same applies to the nano lot okay as usual i would always use things around you to explain complex matters of forex to you so as to make it simpler okay let's assume we have three traders trader a trader b and trader c that deals on shared wares okay you know, for them to make profits, they can't just buy a single shirt from the wholesaler. They need to buy these shirts in bundles for the profit made to be appreciable. Those bundles are what we call lot sizes. Now, as you mean, Trader A buys 100,000 bundles of shirts, all right? And Trader B buys 10,000 bundles of shirts, while Trader C buys only 1,000 bundles of shirts. You would agree with me that trader A would make more money than trader B, who will in turn make more money than trader C. And what determined how many bundles of shares they bought is the capital they invested in the business, okay? That is a typical illustration of lot sizes. I would explain to you where to impute them on your MC4 soon. So let's just explain what each of them means, okay? In the illustration above, Trader A bought standard lot size, while Trader B bought mini lot size, and Trader C bought micro lot size. Let's now see the PIP equivalent of each lot size, okay? So for standard lot size, one PIP is equal to $10, okay? For mini lot size, one PIP is equal to $1, while for micro lot size, one PIP is equal to $0.1. And for nano lot size, one pip is equal to zero point zero one dollar. All right, you can note them down. So if three traders trace a currency pair, and three of them made fifty pip, let's say trader A traded one standard lot size of the pair, while trader B traded one mini lot size of the pair, and trader C traded one micro lot size of the pair. Okay, trader A would make 
50 pips multiplied by the value of a pip for a standard lot which is ten dollars okay it would be equal to five hundred dollars now trader b would make 50 pips multiplied by one dollar which is the pip value for a micro lot okay and then for trader c would make 50 pips multiplied by 0.1 dollars which is equal to five dollars right so even though they still participated in the same trade and the market moved in their direction for the same amount all right for the same 50 pips all right their profits were different because the amount of that particular currency they bought was different okay i told you guys that one standard loss gives ten dollar per pip and 0 0.1 lot size give one dollar per pip all right you will see someone trying to go and use one standard loss on a hundred dollar or two hundred dollar account because he or she wants to get rich overnight please guys always stick to a lot size that comes rate to your account never get greedy the market would always be there okay so i believe this concept is now clear next i will show you where to adjust your lot size which we talked about earlier all right depending on your account size and risk appetite whether it will be ten dollar per pip or one dollar per pip or zero point one dollar the pip okay so let's go ahead first make sure you have the mt4 app installed on your mobile device and you have logged in to your account when you log into your mt4 on your mobile device you will see a trade button on the mt4 app okay so you can tap on the trade button or the chart button at the bottom of the screen so that you can be sure of the currency pair you are about to execute your orders all right so at the top right of your screen tap on the plus button right here now you can see the option to impute your desired lot size you will see a variety of lot sizes to choose from you can also impute a custom lot size by tapping on the custom option you can also use the plus and minus button to adjust the lot size to your desired amount okay once you have selected your lot size, you can proceed with placing your trade by tapping on the buy or sell button to place the trade. And that's it guys, you have successfully imputed your lot size on MT5 or MT4 with your mobile device, okay? As you can see here, I really want you to understand this, okay? The red arrow is pointing at the lot size that you have set while you use the other green arrow by the side are used to adjust the lot sizes to various multiples okay that is whether to increase or decrease it to your desired lot size all right so we will now proceed for the pc interface okay same thing applies so to impute lot size on your mt5 or mt4 on your pc first you need to open the trade window okay guys another way to impute your lot size is the quick button we have on your screen here okay on this quick button you can just impute your lot sizes here you can adjust it using these arrows here okay you can adjust it here you can impute your lot sizes and then afterwards you just click on the buy or sell button and it immediately executes your trades or your orders so that is basically how it works on your system i prefer the quick button because it's faster for me but well it all depends on your choice okay so guys remember that using a larger lot size does not guarantee a larger profit it also increases the risk of a larger loss okay the lot size you choose can have a big impact on your potential profits and losses so as you can see lot size is just one of many things to consider when trading the forex market make sure to keep it in mind when you are placing your trades thank you for watching i hope you found this video informative and helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great content on forex trading trade smart and i'll see you in my next video